This is a $100 mini PC and the specs on it aren't even completely terrible. So inside we have 8 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM and then the CPU is like a random name. I literally never heard of the CPU, but it's like the Intel Celeron 3865U and of course integrated graphics. So based on that name, I'm going to assume the performance isn't that good, but this is how the PC looks. It honestly looks like a TV cable box or something. And apart from the mini PC inside the box, there's just, I think, a a bunch of cables like the power cable and yeah it's literally just like the charger and some little mounts and stuff yeah it doesn't even come with a like video cable bro it's straight up just the charger that's it it doesn't have any hdmi on the front of the pc it literally just has like the power button and then like your typical usbs and on the back it has just a bunch of like video ports and like more usbs but i'm actually gonna take off the kind of top panel and i just want to see how the inside of this pc looks i'm really curious but it's definitely gonna be like super super cluttered and here because i mean it's like a mini pc how does this come off okay it looks like it has a small fan because there's like a little fan vent oh my that's actually looks like really good use of space i'm not gonna lie dude this fan is literally so small though it's like the size of my thumb and by the way the actual storage on this is a 128 gigabyte ssd like i actually never looked at a pc like this so i don't even know where the ram is is it even a stick of ram i can't tell oh i think i see it it's literally like on the very corner over here can i take this out it says you're able to upgrade it to like 32 gigabytes of ram but yeah it only has one eight gigabyte stick now okay to be honest i think this pc will be good for roblox and that's about it i don't even think it's going to be able to run any other games at 30 fps but as long as we get 30 fps uh, i will call that playable but i don't even think it will be able to get that all right so let's just set the pc up and see how it actually performs okay so i'm in creative right now and i was trying off camera to find like literally the best settings I could and right now I have it on unlimited FPS and without building or doing anything looking up in the air It's kind of unrealistic, but it's saying we're getting a low of 60 but a high of 140 FPS But when I build you can see it gets laggy and it just takes a couple of seconds for it to like fully do a freeze like You can see it's lagging quite a bit and right now it's saying we're getting like 40 FPS I mean, it's just so inconsistent. I would definitely cap the FPS I think it would be best if I capped it at like 120 to 60 because it's just like so inconsistent inconsistent the fps right now and i'm just kind of building right now and i want to show you guys when it like freezes it usually will do like one good freeze for like solid five seconds or something you guys can see the frame drops a little bit on camera but when you're actually building of course you really feel it you can see the building i'm doing again i'm not like a really really good player or anything like that but you can do like decent building it's just when it frame drops but right now it's actually not doing bad at all again this pc is literally using like integrated intel graphics and like i don't even know what intel end processor or something i said it earlier in the video it, it's just not the best but the probably the best part about it is just it has eight gigabytes of ddr4 ram but yeah that's probably the only good part about it i think it would be better for a little bit more casual games but just to kind of stress test this pc a little bit more i'm gonna go in game and see just how, like, how like low the fps really goes dude it literally says i don't have enough storage i only installed three games on this pc oh i had 128 gigabytes of storage that's why it may not work properly okay i mean as long as it's like working that might be fine but like holy there's actually no storage left on this pc although this pc isn't really that good it also needed a little wi-fi stick i had to add they're like 15 bucks on amazon you can get but yeah i didn't have wi-fi i had to add that but yeah i mean it's a hundred dollar pc you can't really expect too much i feel like it's gonna run a game like roblox good and you can see it now it did a good frame drop that was solid like four seconds it just froze but yeah probably a game like roblox would be good and maybe csgo i'm gonna try out csgo but yeah fortnite i'm ru running 720p all low settings on performance mode and it's also like lowest 3d resolution you can use basically okay with pcs like this when you try and jump out of the battle bus this is when it like really drops it says we're having 120 ping it just does it when it's on like kind of lower end pcs but look i'm gonna jump out i didn't even press space i'm gonna press space right now Oh, wasn't that bad. Okay. I'm going to land somewhere a little bit more chill though. I have to wait for more players to die. So it's like a little easier for the servers to run. Oh yeah. We had a good frame drop right now. Look, it just completely froze. It might even just crash the whole game actually. Yep. I think the game crashed. Nice. Nice. That's nice. Okay. This is attempt number two. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if it crashed again. I'm not going to lie. Oh, it's freezing pretty bad, bro. Yeah. I, I think this might crash again, to be honest. Maybe we'll get a little bit of 
Oh, oh my gosh, bro. Okay, I think as long as we get out the air, it should be fine. It's only when you're like skydiving when it like gets really, really laggy. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to cap the FPS. None of the renders are loading or anything. Oh my gosh, dude. I don't even think capping the FPS will help. Nothing's loading. Yo, okay, yeah, this, it's definitely a lot more playable and creative than it is in here. One thing I will say is if anyone does get this, I think GeForce Now will probably be a lot better for a PC like this because GeForce Now now will just give you a lot of input delay, but you'll actually be getting like decent FPS. Oh, this guy's gonna kill me. Yeah, I, I literally didn't see him. It just completely froze. I, I literally had no chance there. All right, now I'm in CSGO and it it's not, I mean, you're not playing any competitive CSGO. I'll just say that. There's no chance you're playing anything competitive on this PC. This PC would be perfect for like browsing. Just like if you want a little like PC to maybe do some homework on or like watch some YouTube, then that's what you get this PC for. Nothing like competitive though. Like bro, it just freezes. Oh, I got a kill. Yo, ain't no way I'm actually destroying these guys. I only got two kills on probably the worst players in the game, but like I've been saying the whole video that I think Roblox is good for this PC. So I'm gonna test that theory out. I'm gonna test out some Roblox. Oh, I'm definitely gonna die. This is so dumb. I'm gonna die. Oh, I, like I can't aim. You saw, okay. Like I literally can't aim. That thing was just like, it was just lagging all over the place, bro. I mean, in complete honesty, I thought I was gonna be having to play this entire video on GeForce Now because I thought this PC was gonna be like so bad that nothing would run on it at all. But I mean, the games are, I wouldn't say like competitively playable, but I mean, they are running. It only crashed once and it is able to at least sort of run them. I'm gonna try out maybe some like Roblox CSGO and see how that goes. All right, I literally never played this game, so I don't even know how this works, but it's called Arsenal. I think it's like one of the more popular ones. Oh my, uh, my sense is a little bit fast. I definitely need to lower that. Dude, I don't even know how to do full screen. Oh wait, right there, I'm blind. Okay, full screen, there we go. Oh my, wait, this is how is this lagging on this too? What the, I can't even play any games on this, bro. Even Roblox is lagging that crazy bro arm cannon this has to be like the worst weapon dude roblox is literally oh my yo i don't even know like what this game is bro yo like oh I just killed three people in one. Okay, very good. Wait, how much HP do they even have? I don't even know who I'm aiming at, bro. I'm just shooting. Oh my, my sense is so messed up. Yeah, okay. I don't even know like what's going on, bro. It's actually so laggy. I'm gonna try out GeForce now because I was saying that that I think is gonna do pretty good. So I'm gonna go on GeForce now. It basically connects you to like a different server. So it will give you like 240 FPS from a different PC, but it's gonna be a lot of input delay. I'm just really curious if that's actually gonna be a lot better than like just playing, for example, Fortnite on this PC. Maybe GeForce now will be a lot more playable. Let's see. Okay, already right off the bat, this is a lot better. Like the game looks clearer. It's an actually 1080p. First, I just want to go back in the exact same creative map. So it's like the same amount of like input lag or some everything just to see how much better or worse this is. But it looks already better already. Okay, right now we're on unlimited FPS and it says we're getting 220 FPS and it still definitely is lagging a little bit. I'm not gonna lie. It's a little bit weird for me to play on DirectX 12, I would definitely put it on like performance mode, but there's just so much input delay because it's connecting to a different PC, like a whole different server. So I think we won't have to worry about the game crashing, but if you were looking for an overall good experience, probably this is good. It's just, it's definitely gonna be a casual one because there's just so much input delay. But if you play games casually, bro, this is like actually perfect. Obviously this isn't sponsored at all by GeForce Now or anything, but they do have like multiple tiers that you can have. I think I'm on like, like the cheapest one. It's like 20 bucks a month, but you can also use it for like for free like an hour a day or something like that but yeah this is honestly not terrible and if you were playing like no builds for example on fortnite i feel like this would be good because then you wouldn't really have to worry a crazy crazy amount about the input delay you really notice it while building though okay let's just go in game though and just see if it actually is playable and like if i can actually get a couple kills okay already right off the bat skydiving the pc definitely is a lot better with the fps and it's not like lagging like crazy or anything like that so it's actually is pretty playable right now like if i were on an extreme budget it kind of depends because geforce now it's like 20 bucks a month so this pc is like a hundred dollars but after five oh and it froze so i guess geforce now doesn't even fix it completely okay nope we're still in we're still in we're still in okay this definitely does still feel pretty laggy but i think it's definitely better than it was in game last time this guy's like literally one hp oh my dude i have to like anticipate where they're going ahead of time because there's so much input delay from when i shoot bro the thing is geforce now if you get the thing that i have it's 20 bucks a month so it's like after only five months you're already gonna be like you could have just got a 200 dollars pc is this guy just landing now no way oh my okay wait i'm gonna push that guy he doesn't look good i don't even have headphones bro oh shoot oh my gosh i 
Oh my gosh, bro. And I have no heals. GG's, bro. I already have two kills and there's literally only 30 people left. And it's just first zone. Dude, this game is actually like dying off so quick. Oh my gosh. Okay, like, yeah. So yeah, I mean, this PC is better than I thought. I wouldn't call it like really playable for games. It's definitely not a gaming PC. It's more good for like schoolwork, watching videos. I just wanted to see how good it, you could, it actually could be, you know, if you really pushed it. it. Does not feel hot at all. I don't even know if the fan. Oh yeah, no, this fan is moving, but yeah, it's pretty decent. You also need to buy this little Wi-Fi thing, which is like $10. But yeah, this is by far the cheapest PC I've ever reviewed. And it's definitely the smallest too. Look how small that thing is, bro. If you guys are interested in checking out this little mini PC, I will have it linked down below. Like always though, thank you so much for watching to the end of the video. If you did make it this far and comment like, let's say banana, just to confuse people who actually didn't watch this far. And if you guys want to watch more videos, YouTube recommends this video right here. And this one is one that I recommend. And yeah, that's about it. God bless.